Hey friend in wizards, are you tired of wrestling with CSS to make the layouts look perfect? Stick around because today we are diving into the flexbox, the ultimate CSS layout hack that level up your skills as a front-end developer. Welcome to my channel and where we simplified the world of coding one video at a time. If you are a front-end developer or aspiring to V1, mastering the flexbox is must. It's a secret sauce behind the responsive, clean and modular layouts. Let's jump into here. This is the code that I have done. This is the pretty much simple code I think you guys can understand. You can see in the right side I have created the box and also I have given the some classes. There we need to have the parent component, parent div. And inside the parent box, you can see here, provided the height, weight. So let's get into it. Before that, I want to say something like Flexbox or the Flexbox layout is CSS modules that makes it easy to align. Distribute the space and create the complex box or the Flexbox layout is CSS modules that makes it easy to align. Distribute the space and create the complex layout with a minimal effort. Imagine a world where you need to do fight, where you don't need to fight with the float, margin, and I think that's look good. Because previously we deal with the margin and then also the float, which is very handy and that is not good practice, I guess. And also, uh, I want to say like, it is a true master of Flexbox. You need to understand few concepts. Let me break it down for you. Flex container and flex items. The item where you set the fl uh, display flex. Let me add the display flex. If I add the flex, this automatically change the direction uh, in the row because in the flexbox provides the default as a row this is the main axis okay because uh, row property this is the main axis and perpendicular perpendicular is the cross axis so you are you need to deal with the uh, main axis and then the cross axis okay so we have the direction you have uh, from the direction from where you can change the orders let me change the orders for this box. If I provide the reverse, you can change the reverse order. You can see here, three, two, one, right? Now, also you can add, let me comment this line for the for the column also, you can do the same thing, see, column. This is the thing, and also you can add the reverse, okay? And I think you got this part. Now, justify content. This is the main thing you need to understand because those are the con content of the container box, right? So if you need to align those, we have the property. You can see here, baseline, center, and other things. Flex start, flex, flex end. Let me add the flex end. And let me expand this, okay? See, this, is, uh, this leaves the space because the weight, sum of the weight of this each element uh, is smaller than the weight of this container, right? So it's leave the space and it leaves the space and move to the uh, end of the space, okay? Let me add allies items and then add flex end. You can see this uh, is in the end, but in the bottom. Right, because we have provided the aligns items. Aligns items means it will apply to the cross axis. This one is the oh, vertical is the cross axis. So because it's aligns in the button. So if you if you need to centralize is the is this items, then you can just add the center. This will centralize the button. And after that, uh, if you need to centralize this part as well, then you can just simply keep this part. So this is, this items were centralized. I will comment this one for now and I will save because it will uh, remain in the same position in the flex start and then it will, uh, because the space, uh, this weight of the box is smaller. So it's remaining the space in right side, right? Now uh, let me reduce the size of the box, weight of the box to 50. So uh, there we have the class in the flex box one. Flexbox one. So, <coughs> if I provide the flex uh, grow one, so it will check the width. What is the remaining space that will cover all the remaining space? So I have provided the flex grow for one uh, initial box. Takes the space, remaining space, and also its own space. Okay. Now, <coughs> when I when I compress this, 
the, the size of this part will decrease not the other thing other part okay only this one uh, the the uh, first box one size will get change see it will also expand and also decrease depending upon the screen size and if i provide the flex shrink one let me because the shrink always act in the reverse case that is in the negative value okay so let me show you one thing and there uh, let me uh, change the size to 150 again for each box see <clears throat> now if i change the size then you uh, probably you can notice here the size of this box is decreasing right see if i expand in the certain part it will decrease and after a minimum space that is 150 once it reach to the it reach to 150 then the container weight is still decreasing so other weight is also decreasing see but it's remaining same right it's not losing its weight so because of those we use the string property in there and another property we can use the flex basis let me add the flex basis as 10 em okay if i add the flex basis 10 em uh, whatever the weight is there we uh, added the 10 em 10 times right so uh, now you can see this taking the 10 em uh, minimum weight the 10 em others are decreasing but this is remaining the same how can you write these all three things in one so just in the flex at first you need to write grow that grow value is one and the string value is zero and other value is 10, right Tedium. so this will work in the same way just we have done see this behaving the same way. why this the why this is decreasing the size instead of decreasing the size we need to change the row because this is the first row right so for that what you can do flex wrap if you, uh, if you write the flex wrap then if you wrap that item then it will not change the size why it is taking the space because we are giving the height 90 ps right so let me come this also. this one is the first row this one is the second row right and whenever the size whenever the weight is not fitting to its original space then it will change the it will switch to the second row whatever the elements are overflowed now again uh, what we can do here let's if we need the space in between if we need the space then you simply add the gap in each, each it's showing the space right now also you can add the space in uh, vertical in the horizontal where you can you can also add that so for now let's not focus on this face gap uh, let me focus on aligns content okay aligns content so if you provide the aligns content okay so aligns content is if we provide it to the center and if we provide the because our perpendicular height is equal to this right so let me uh, make the perpendicular height uh, cross axis larger that is 90 ph and the 90 ph so if we provide what is the difference aligns content if you look carefully uh, this is the there are the two rows one and two so if there are the two rows if we're dealing with the aligns content this will check all the cross axis and bring whatever the items are available this will bring it to the center so what in the case of aligns items let me show you if we go to the align see we are uh, doing the aligns of center but uh, it's taking the center position of particular row this one is the first row this one is the second row and this it's taking the aligns row in the center of particular row but what if in the case of aligns content it is centralizing the content depending upon the whole unit right whole container so if we add the aligns content space between space between you can see it's taking the whole container like our whole container height is 90 vh so it's taking the 90 vh and from there we are giving the space in between of the each row aligns items in the case of aligns items if we provide the space between space between it's taking the space but in but it taking the space in between with respect to the row 
it has the row and it is also having the own row and depending upon the space this is taking the space right so uh, i think you have learned this one you can see here now uh, this one is the items that we have created because of this uh, vertical height let me remove this for now okay it's taking this on right on height and now uh, let me also decrease the width where we have provided okay let me only add its own space right and also i will change to the 50 change the uh, height to the 50 and the flex basis also i will remove for now okay and for now let me increase the height of 200 pixel for this we just understanding the property for the align cell okay so you got the part right uh, aligns items center from there you can make it happen right because this is getting the center so if you don't need to do from here and if you leave it as it is then <coughs> we can also use the self property aligns self to the center let me because this is taking the whole space so this is already the same space taking the whole width so uh, i think we don't see the any shape changes in there in the box to uh, align self center why uh, we if we are uh, changing to this uh, aligning for the particular box then you can also change from the child items okay if you need the specific uh, behavior then you can do also you can uh, there you can put the baseline whatever the things you required you can add also you can add flex in because all the property whatever the just uh, aligns items takes it will also take the same same thing okay now uh, let's do i think you have understand this let me remove this and let me show you one thing okay so uh, if you have imagine if you have only one button okay now i think you got clear in this if you have only one buttons which has the height the same property and uh, if you need to bring it to the center you just can display that and you we don't need this as well because the, the, because there is only one property and if you need to centralize that you just need to do align item center and the justify content center so and also because our height is not there so you can give the height because uh, you need the center but but the center for, for the center what would be the cross axis what is the height of the cross axis because we need to define the height and the weight in order to make it uh, aligns it to the center okay and also for the one one is there and for the single item you can do in this way just you can add a display display flex right justify content center and also aligns items center okay see now you can bring it to the center right now i think you got my point and also uh, let me quickly give you the example with the all the items okay now let me do box one flex one okay it will take the extra space you know that and also for the box three box three i'll give the flex one okay and now let me also add the value uh, to uh, shrink to zero and for that for the third i third box let me add uh, em value is 10 em now it's aligning in the same space because here we haven't provided any string value so it's automatically shrinking the value right in the default case now uh, let me give give here flex wrap property let me on comment and you can see one item is falling down right let me comment this also and now if you need the gap what you can do you can put the gap in there 10 now uh, 
what you can do if you need uh, the flex 3 to flex 6 is there and if you need to give the box 6 the same ratio then you can give in this way right now depending upon the responsive if you want to give the one item should be the whole right whole then what you can do you can give the string 0 and then the whole em should be not less than anything that means let's give it 32 em it's taking its space and now you can see it because the minimum value is 22 it will not decrease uh, below the 22 because our screen is small so now you can see here it's taking our space and also taking its own responsive side right it's on responsive and if you put it in the 15 because we are dealing with the small value then let's put it to 15 em now you can see the shape and the changes so because of those reason we are changing successfully changing the shape and the size and it is for your responsive to your boxes and then the content i think so if you need to have any queries then also you can let me know you can directly comment me and i will i will give you the personal chat for that and we can discuss whatever the issues you are facing in the flexbox okay thank you so much for uh watching this video and also i will upload my video particularly in the js and if you need to know about the js and if you need to know about the react js node js then i am trying to uploading those video in the coming days and uh, for now if you find this video very helpful then please subscribe and comment whatever you like about this video and also you want me to improve my video quality then you let me know